This is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're looking at hard defense in the SU-12244. This is a Tier 7 Russian premium tank destroyer, characterized by amazing speed, pretty good alpha at 390, great damage per minute at around 3000, and that wonderful Russian camouflage and sloped front. We're on Redshire, and one of the downsides to the tank is its lack of view range, so this isn't the most ideal situation for me. Making that problem just a little bit worse is that we're in a Tier 9 game. One of the things that I've really been working on improving in my own game is trying to make sure that I survive until the end. I just survive as long as absolutely possible that takes precedence above everything else because if I don't live that means I can't have any impact on the game. So through the replay we're going to give tips for survival. First tip is to limit exposure. There's a T29 going YOLO in front of me and I do want to get some damage on him however I don't want to expose myself to campers on their hills or people just randomly rolling out artillery and so I get a snapshot on him and I move back behind cover. The hill in front of me is cutting off angles between myself and the team and I'm even moving around a little bit behind cover so I can avoid artillery taking shots. Another survival tip, try not to reappear in the exact same place. If I poked out at the spot where I was before, there's probably somebody pre-aimed on that location, whether it's Artie, whether it's a tank destroyer. So I moved into a place about, you know, 30-40 meters away that I was still not visible and that I could get a shot on him and then retreat. The next tip is to know the angles of the map. You can see that I'm cuddling a rock, and that's because I know that there are typically people who sit around the F8, F9 hill and love to camp there. That rock is blocking me from those people. In front of me, there is a hill that's generally going to block me from people down on the K line. The best survival tip, don't be seen. When you're invisible, you can take all the time in the world that you want to aim and then still somehow bounce a shot off that T-29's hull. Don't wait for Sixth Sense to tell you that you're spotted. Move back into cover immediately after firing. When you fire, it lowers your camo rating to zero. That's when you're most likely to get spotted. It also reduces the camouflage effect of bushes or within eight meters of you to go to zero as well. I don't have sixth sense on this tank, but even if I did, I would move the exact same way. One of the bigger keys to surviving that's not exactly a tactical tip is don't attack into a bad situation. That's more of a strategic idea. Right now we're down 3-6. I don't have anyone with a view range in front of me, which means combined with the poor view range of this tank and the fact that I'm at tier 7 in a tier 9 battle, I really can't push forward. But a lot of people do. They'll simply lose patience and they'll move forward in front of their team. This is the period of time where you just have to buckle down and defend even harder and wait for developments to improve. I'm sitting where I am primarily because no one else is moved up this far. And worst case scenario, even though I'm in a tank with poor view range, I can still proxy spot people when they try to advance. Typically on Redshire, the other team will advance through the position where I'm sitting rather than the one line. And I'll be able to spot and run on the other side of the hill before they get too far. There was just a shot that went into the rock in front of me. We know there are a couple more people in the A7 area. I'm not sure why people like attacking north on Redshire as, yeah, sure, great, you've captured A7. Where are you going to go from there? There's nothing but 
500 meters of empty space between you and the guys using the hill as cover. So they're just kind of stranded and we're going to wait until they become visible and Artie will pick them off. The Type 59 finally realizes, yeah, there's really nothing to do up here, and tries to get away and immediately gets worked by the Object 704. I'm not speeding through this like I normally do. I'm not editing it like I normally do, because I think it's important to see the flow of the game and realize that there are just going to be periods where there's not a whole lot going on. Right now I'm trying to be useful by putting the nose of the tank through a tree. And I looked in that sniper view and you can tell if you can see through the tree, it's translucent. That means you are getting the camouflage bonus of the tree, but you're able to see through it as well. I see a lot of people recently who are sitting behind the tree, which simply blocks your view range. Uh, I proxy spot somebody who's coming up in front of me. Again, I don't have sixth, so I don't know if I'm spotted, but I'm pretty sure if I uh, proxy spot him, he proxy spots me. You can see that I fall back when I need to do so. I simply can't stand up to the tanks in front of me. Uh, tier 7 in a tier 9 game, not going to happen. An AC-48 gets a hit on me, uh, which kind of allows me in my mental map to picture, okay, their tank destroyers are still riding the K-line. Their medium up here is moving forward but their whole force is not moving forward. You can also tell that I haven't been hit from the one line yet. If there was anyone down there, they would have certainly have shot me. I'm sitting where I am because I know I can't be spotted from anybody on the eight or nine lines, and I can't really be spotted from anybody sitting on G5. However, I can't exactly expose myself to this guy either because then I would be lit up and then shot from those areas. So we were once two tanks down, however, now we've evened the game up which is pretty good on a map like this. However, with our tank composition being what it is, we have no hope of pushing. It's myself, it's two T-34s, which are just as blind as me. We have a VK, uh, which I guess could push. Uh, the Object 704 is not a great scout or lead. So our best hope to win the game is actually to hope that they overpush. This is one of the reasons why Redshire isn't exactly a favored map. It's because even I, who like view range games, understand that this map is incredibly hard to win on. Again, they try pushing through the north, and one guy is just making a run for it, basically through the empty field. I don't know what he expects is going to happen there. When I see the Type 59 lining me up here, I just do so as well. The problem is that if I tried to get away, he still has a snapshot in me, whereas my snapshot's not that good. So I wanted to, if I was going to get shot, I at least wanted to be able to shoot back. Keeping in theme with this game, every time we try to pull it close, we can't take a lead, we just keep taking another step back. With my HP the way it is, I'm going to let somebody else sit more in the front. Uh, even a tank that is as dead as I am can still be incredibly useful, and you want to make sure that you live as long as possible. So my goal at this point is just tough, determined defense and to survive to the end. We finally lost the VK, so any delusional hope we would have had of attacking has now been permanently squashed. There's not one of us who will be able to see the enemy before they kill us on in advance.
I finally come to the conclusion that I can't do enough good where I am that if I'm spotted at all, artillery can take me out or I'll be taken out from halfway across the map on, on just some guy sniping. So I figured the best defense is to go around by Artie and shoot from there. They've gotten a little bit braver. You can see the Type 59 still hanging around C5 and spotting. And the tank destroyers were last seen there down in the H line moving up. So where I was, if I would have gotten spotted, I would have been able to be shot from a lot of different directions. Moving back this far helps me uh, survive to the end. It's in spots like this where people get impatient and just kind of roll forward and suicide. We're down two tanks. It just does not look good at all. Now we're down three tanks. Uh, the other team has finally started going down the one line, which they should have done at the beginning because the one line is ready made for attack. As I alluded to before, sometimes tough defense, your biggest enemy is just boredom. Just sitting around, waiting, waiting, waiting. We're four tanks down. I am definitely spotted by now. I need to kill this type right away so I can reestablish my cloak of invisibility. Uh, get a nice shot on him there, and now I have to move before artillery starts raining in. I'm also moving to a different spot just to make sure that artillery takes a little bit more time to aim in on me when they uh, finally spot me. However, me killing all these trees doesn't exactly help my cause. So we have one minute left and they're finally starting to push. It's going to come down whether or not I can survive and so I pull back by this building. Cuddling anything is going to be good as long as it cuts off some angles and I'm trying to cut off partially from artillery partially from anyone who is left on that hill this last shot is just to get some damage in my best strategy with 30 seconds left is not dying because they can't cap even with three inside the cap zone I end the game with a pile of XP and credits, and even though it's a loss. In your games, I hope the enemy has to work like hell to dig you out of your hole. Happy hunting.